In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the top secret zoetropic cipher. There's actually two versions I'm going to show you. One doesn't require any special parts, it doesn't require an LED, and for that it's open-faced and you spin it underneath a bright light to get the effect, and then the other one uh, requires an LED and it's a little more versatile in terms of where you can use it. Uh, so this is all the parts for both versions. Both versions have, uh, this is the cipher, the main body at the top, and the light diffuser. Uh, the version that doesn't require an LED has uh, this peg, and then the version that does require an LED has uh, the cap, the plug, the key, and the LED. Uh, so the key does have a magnet in it, it, magnet in it um, and then as part of the printing instructions I explain that it pauses and you insert the magnet. So that's not part of this assembly, this is the post-print part. Uh, but otherwise, this is how it all comes off the build plate, other than, I guess, the peg does have a little bit of a, a brim that I removed. But this is how it comes off the build plate, other than that. Uh, all right, so we're going to start with uh, the, the main body here. And it does have all these little tabs, and they basically fall right off. Um, I think these are an artifact of the slicer I used. If I don't put any holes uh, in, these don't appear, and I haven't found a good way to make the slicer not add them. So I don't really think they're necessary, but... Uh, they seem to get added anyway, but they basically just fall right off like that. All right. Um, so now the next part here is we're going to remove the support material. All right, I should have mentioned we're, uh, the, the tools. I have pliers and then the tweezers, which are more for the, the version with the LED. But we're going to start with the version without the LED. All right, so um, let me show you actually the support, a support material I've already removed. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Um, so you can see here, I kind of stuck the, the pliers and I grabbed this part, but this part only goes um, one direction. So you, you want to make sure you're inserting the, the pliers the right way so that you're grabbing something. So for the print profile I added, um, it's the, the you can see the, the surface lines are going that way. And so I think that means that the crisscross inside is, uh, happens to be going that way, just in this, in this particular model. If you get it wrong and you grab air, you can, you can just... Um, Take it out and try again. So we're gonna we're gonna stick in. Yep, I can feel it grabbing. It's not grabbing air. Twist, pull out cleanly. Well, I should say cleanly, but there's a little bit of support interface there. I usually just use my my fingernails. You can use a, a tweezer if you prefer, uh, but it just scrapes right off. Uh, that looks looks pretty good. Sometimes. Uh, the little middle section uh, doesn't come out uh, when you do that. So for that, then you want to put like tweezers in and grab twist. It should come out pretty easily though. It's this. Uh, it's not very hard. All right. So once the support material is all gone, you install the light diffuser. No glue necessary really for any of this. Uh, there is a part where you can actually add it, but but not for this. Um, so you start putting it in. I find it's easiest to push evenly against the table like that to get it most of the way, and then and the last little bit right there. Um, and then finally, uh, the peg, um, and it should be a nice snug fit. You just put it in straight, and then you should feel it pop in. Um, you can glue that if you want, um, but at least in this case, the tolerances seem pretty good. It's not wiggling, it's, it's steady. All right, so we're done with this first version. Now I'll show you how to do the version uh, with the LED. So we're gonna pop out this peg. Uh, if the diffuser comes out to push it back in. Uh, and now for the cap here, we need to remove the support material. Um, so I find it's easiest to just pry with something small like tweezers. Um, and once you've pried a little bit, you can you can just kind of rip it out. Uh, usually that will stay in. We're gonna use the same technique as before to grab and twist. And sometimes the it will bring that mesh with it. In this case, it didn't. So uh, it's still pretty easy, you just kind of pry it like that. Um, there will probably be some stringing here, it might look a little ugly, but who cares, because no one's going to see this part. So just remove it as best you can so everything fits snug. Uh, we take the LED, pop it right in. Uh, all right, the next part is the plug. Um, you'll see this is the part that was face up, this is was face down on the plate, you can tell by the texture. Um, you want the texture, the textured part to face up. If if you didn't print on a textured plate, um, you can see that the textured side is is actually a little narrower than the other side. So you want the wide side to to snap in here, and the textured part or the the the, the narrower part will face up. 
Um, you can glue this part if you want. Um, it will keep the cap on tighter. Um, I don't usually bother. Uh, and then at that point, you just snap that on and it's pretty good. Um, and let's test it out with the key. There we go. You can see that the, the lights are working at that point. So that's it. Uh, pretty quick and fun assembly uh, for the top secret. And I hope you have fun with it. Thanks.